We are talking about the You and Me for Memories Foundation. Uh, it's an event that's behind uh, a wonderful gala that's going to be happening at the Ottawa Convention Centre in the coming weeks on September the 29th. Uh, and joining us is one of the co-founders of the organization, Bruce Levy. Great to have you here on the show. Well, thank you so much for having us. The, uh, the, my, my first question is, uh, because I know that Alzheimer's is reaching so many people, it's the first time I've heard about this organization. So can you tell me what the You and Me for Memories Foundation is? represents what it's about? Yes, we're a small grassroots organization aimed you know, with a focus on raising money for Alzheimer's research. Uh, we're partnered with the University of Ottawa and um, we fund Dr. Richard Bergeron's uh, research directly at the university and OHRI. The money raised is going completely for research. That was one of the mandates that you wanted. What was the type of group of people that came together for this organization? Because it seems, having talked to you, that it was something that Alzheimer's was looking around a table affecting so many people. Well, actually, we, uh, a group of us go to this party once a year. There's about 200 people come, and at one point, we were all around a campfire, and literally every person either had a parent or a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle affected. And, uh, you know, we would all tell our stories about, you know, our loved one with Alzheimer's and um, the caretaker of that person. So in my case, it was my father. In Dave's case, it was his father and the toll it took on those people and the families. You felt very helpless. It's something that because you cannot do anything to help your loved one. It's a horrible feeling. There's nothing you can do, um, especially in the early stages as they're not accepting the fact that they have it and they tend to do things to, um, in public that you know one could call embarrassing. And it just kills you, it tears you apart. And it was the only thing we could do. I mean, beyond just helping our family, as I, there was nothing else available to us. So you put your energy towards doing something, and of course, it's all about raising funds for research. Uh, how are you doing this? Because I know you have a wonderful gala that's planned. Usually, you've had a sellout nights of over 500 people. You're looking to get around to that 800,000 people mark, which is a pretty big initiative for an event here in Ottawa. Yes, it's uh, it's quite the challenge. Uh, the last two years we were at the Hellenic Center and you know, you're capped at 525 people. You know, we're looking at doubling that this year and that's, that's amazing. Uh, uh, it's quite the joy. The, uh, the evening is called An Evening to Remember. Uh, and so what are you looking for? It, what kind of a gala will it be at the Convention Center that night? Well, one thing we aim for, there are so many charities out there and so many good causes and so many galas. Mm -hmm. We want ours to be an amazing evening. We want people to come to our event and say, oh my God, I've got to come back to this event next year. This was just so fun. We have a great band, there's dancing. It's, it's a true party atmosphere, um, even though it's a sad topic, of course. It's a tough topic, but of course, uh, you need events like this to be able to raise funds. And all of the funds that you said raised for, uh, for you, and, uh, you and me for memories all goes towards Dr. Bergeron's research, which is being done uh, at the University of Ottawa. Is that correct? Yes, literally when you write out your check for the tickets, you're writing it out to the University of Ottawa. Like, literally, everything goes there. It's going all for the research. The event, once again, is happening on Saturday, September 29th at the Ottawa Convention Centre. It's called An Evening to Remember. They're looking to get to that thousand people mark, which I think would be impressive. And considering how many people, likely at home, are dealing with a loved one who's suffering from this, uh, might be something that you want to get involved in, at least, too, to just talk to other people who are going through uh, very similar experiences. Bruce, thank you so much. And, of course, sorry to uh, Dave, who couldn't be here, the other co-founder of the organization. And thank you so much for providing us with this opportunity. Well, hopefully people will check out more information at youandmeformemories.ca.